The Vive Ultimate Trackers are a great full body tracking addition to the Vive XR Elite. Let's learn how to set them up and get them ready for use. Step number one, connect your dongle to the included USB Type-C extension cable and then plug the extension cable into the headset battery cradle. Once plugged in, navigate over to the settings menu, inputs, and select motion trackers. Step number two, next you'll work on pairing your Vive Ultimate Trackers with the Vive XR Elite. You should see a blue pairing button, which you will click to begin pairing each tracker. Step three, now you can start with one tracker at a time. Click and hold the button at the top of the tracker for two seconds until you see the tracker turn on. After that, click and hold again until you see the light begin to flash. This will indicate you are in pairing mode and your tracker will be found. You can now attach your tracker to one of the recommended tracking points. I like starting with my right ankle. Continue to do this step with each tracker. I use five trackers. One on my right ankle, left ankle, hip, right elbow, and left elbow. Step four. Once you've paired your trackers and click done, a room scanning box will pop up. You may have to redo this step when moving locations or if you're in a new environment after clicking start, you'll be asked to kneel down. Next, you'll see a creature that you will follow with your head and eyes as it traverses the tree. Step number five. After completing the room scan setup, you can navigate back to the motion tracking settings where you can manage your trackers. The avatar to the right shows you which part of the body the tracker connects to. You can select any of the trackers and reassign their point. A quick way to tell which tracker is which is by looking down at your body to see what number the tracker is assigned. You can also switch the tracker to object tracking in this area. As a bonus tip, if your tracking number is not displaying above your tracker correctly, you can fix this by unclipping your tracker and covering the cameras with your hand as you hold it over your chest for a few moments. This will reset the tracking for that tracker. You may have to do this a few times if it doesn't work right away. Another tip is that you can check your trackers without going to this menu by clicking the Vive logo and the right controller, going to devices, to trackers, and then seeing what the battery is like. You can now hop into a VR game. Certain games only support a specific amount of trackers. For example, Dance Dash only takes up to two foot trackers, while well, VRChat can support eight trackers in addition to the headset and controllers. The Vive XR Elite itself supports up to five trackers with one dongle. Make sure to research how many trackers you can have in a VR game and if it is VR supported as well as what your headset can support. If you're using the Vive XR Elite as an all-in-one device, you can see what games support full body tracking in the Vive Ultimate Tracker section on Vive Port. As for connecting the Vive XR Elite to PC, VR, via wireless streaming, games that work with the 2.0 and 3.0 trackers on Steam also work with the Vive Ultimate Trackers. Let us know which game you'll be trying out with the Vive Ultimate Trackers in the comments below. Yay, let's go to the dance world.